don't think that I have been very often a crowd of 75,000 people. <laughs> and the roar is really deafening here. Oh, I know. Ready for a little bit of a touch of Nashville. Here's a guy who grew up on, uh, in Eric, Oklahoma. He's returning home to perform. Let's go down to the field and join the king of the road, Mr. Roger Miller. Glad to see you. I say hello, Oklahoma, because I know we're all here tonight. Ain't nobody watching the store. Boy, I'm always glad. I knew I was in Oklahoma when I stepped out and got a gnat in my eye. Oh, boy. I think this is the first time I've got to come back to Oklahoma in quite a while when I wasn't looking for a job chopping cotton about this time of year. This is a big event, and we're happy to be a part of it, and happy that Norman and OU could be a part of it here. I've seen lots of friends around today. Well, I'm just stalling a little bit till we tune up and play some of this intricate music of mine. I call my cotton, I call my music Cotton Patch Blues. So we're going to do a couple of Cotton Patch Blues. Marty, have you got it ready there? This is called stretching. I thought I'd come out and electrify you for a couple of minutes while they tuned up. I just wanted to ask one thing. Is it true in Oklahoma that they, they think when they die, they go to Hebner? <laughs> I'd like to say hello to Beckham County. I figure Beckham County's watching all the people down in Erie. And uh, I got kin folks down in Pontotoc County, so hello down there. Down in Ada and Allen, Stonewall down in there. Glad to see all of you. I think we're ready to pick, guys. Here's a song I wrote one night. It goes like this. <laughs> I'd like to do a song. I'll have to get my guitar around here and put this on. Thank you, Marty Stewart, helping me back there. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's good to see all of you at once. It really is. <laughs> my goodness, my wife and baby are here, standing up over there trying to see Daddy long distance. I wish I could visit with all of you. I'll have to come back in Oklahoma and just sit around and bat the breeze. But I'm gonna have to get out of the way here in a minute. I gotta figure out how to put this sucker on. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Don't wanna be too slick with this performance, you know? <laughs> hmm. I can't wait to get up in the morning and milk some cows. That's great. 
Yes, sir. I'd like to dedicate this to my daddy, who's not longer with us, but this was written about him. Well, here it's said hi, getting ideas. Ain't nothing but a fool to live like this. Out all night, for running wild. Sitting home with a month old child. Dang me, dang me. They'll take a rope and hang me. High from the highest tree. Woman, would you weep for me? One more time. Just sitting around with the rest of the guys. Six rounds of pork and I bought five. Spent the groceries and half the rent for like $14, having 27 cents. Dang me, dang me. Now to take a rope and hang me. High from the highest tree. Woman, would you weep for me? One more time. Roses are red, violets are purple. Sugar's sweet, and so is maple circle. And I'm a seventh out of seven sons. I'm a baby's pistol. I'm a son of a gun. Well, dang me. Whoa, dang me. Hey, now to take a rope and hang me. High from the highest tree. <laughs> Woman, would you weep for me? Thank you, everybody. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Roger Miller. Roger Miller, raised in Oklahoma. Hey, I know why they call him the King of the Road. Yeah. It's because he drove here with his family in an RV all the way from New Mexico. This is true. He did this. I don't know why, but he enjoyed it. Uh, I'd like it. to see him put his sport coat on. <laughs> 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 we're going we're gonna to take a quick break here. But first of all, ESPN coverage coming up. Uh, big preview when we come right back with Lori Ann and Charlie to our live TNN coverage of the opening ceremonies. We'll preview our ESPN live coverage. 32 hours. It starts tomorrow at 5 o'clock Eastern time. We'll have a look at our basketball competition. We'll have the gold medal game for you on ESPN on Wednesday. Night. We'll take a look at the figure skating. Who might be the next Debbie Thomas or Peggy Fleming or Brian Bortano or Chris Bowman? We'll have figure skating tomorrow night for you. And we'll take a look at the diving competition. It all starts on Thursday. Who might replace Greg Luganis? Some tough shoes or uh, trunks, I guess, to fill trunks there. To fill, yes, that's appropriate. <laughs> I know it's exciting for you guys as well to see those new.